Hey, it's Jay from the N9 Podcast. Today I'm talking about something that's very obvious probably to a lot of people. Uh, the importance of deadlines if you are self-employed or doing something like passion projects or anything like that. So I'm going off of my experience with it, which is just me. I don't have sources. And I might be wrong. You always hear the uh, keep working on something until it's perfect. It will never be perfect. You might do everything possible to make it the best. Don't strive to make something perfect. Strive to make something the best you can make it. Learn when you have to put something down. There is a risk, especially if you're doing something like, for instance, I'm a writer. To sit there and make something perfect would be incredibly... I would never finish anything. I would never complete a project because nothing is ever good enough. I look up and I... For instance, something I'm working on right now. I'm about 15,000 words in. And I'm really happy with the way it's progressing. But I am writing it in vignettes. So when I get to a point, I go, okay, yeah, that's good enough. I carry on with the next bit. If I don't do that, I will actually sit there for days and weeks and months on one line to make sure it's the most poignant thing that I write on that page. It will never get completed if I let it go forever. So, for instance, with writing... I give myself one year. The project I'm working on right now, I, I've given myself to May 2022. I will be done before then. I hope. I really hope. But that's what I've given myself a tile move. Of course, there are things, external pressures and whatnot, that you can't control. Uh, for another example, I'm reissuing You're Not Dead. Currently in the process of putting that through a publisher, Olympia, based out of uh, London, the UK. Done everything I can do right now. It's now just a matter of waiting till the next step. Got a new cover. And if I feel like it, I might share it with my Facebook. Facebook.com slash books. Also, I'm going to post something about it on wolterhero.com. Because I'm ridiculously excited. Very simple. Very simple cover. But it's gorgeous. I might be biased. I really like it. They gave me a selection of four. And I chose what I thought would be best. It's also the least busy. Yeah. Anyway, short update today. Just felt like I needed to express that to make sure that you shouldn't fall down the rabbit hole and get lost of making sure a project is perfect. Just give yourself a timeline or a time limit. A little timeline helps too. For instance, I try to do about a thousand words a day. I don't, but I try. This has been Jason Gardner of the Online Podcast. I love you. Have a good day.